Hi there, welcome back to JD Answers. Today we'll be installing the King Slim front and rear dash camera with a red wire. Okay, today we have a 2015 Ford Fusion. We're going to be installing this rear cam right over here next to the backup camera. The backup camera works, but it doesn't record in case there's an incident. So that's why we're installing the King Slim rear camera right here. This is the area where we're going to be installing the dash cam. This is one of the license plates lights. This is what we're going to use to run the wire inside. But the first thing we got to do is take this off or take the top part off. That way we, we could run the wire down. At this point, you could go ahead and continue running the wires to the front when you install the dash cam here. In my experience, it's always better to start from the beginning and work your wires back. So if there's any slack, it'll be in the trunk area. The reason we went through the wiring process through the trunk is just to know how hard it's going to be. But in this car, it's not going to be that hard. So now we're going to go ahead and start from the beginning. So let's first step, let's just take this part out and then simply put it where you want your dash cam. I'm going to go centered on this one and see if we could get it centered. I'm going to go a little bit lower so we could be uh, observing what's on the dash cam and I'm going to put it in there. Starting from the center to get the bubbles out, go left and right and go down to get these bubbles out. All right, here you go. There's another cover that you take off of here, okay? And you remove the GPS part. For those of you who have nails, this will be not be a problem. For installation purposes, I'm not going to remove this because I'm gonna have to reuse this again. Next step is to take off your uh, the 3M protective covering. Again, this is not the original one it comes with. The one that comes original is clear. Okay. Next is you want to make sure you're going to put it on the right way. So position your GPS mount and the camera. So you know it's going to go this way. So now you can start put, putting in your... GPS module. Put it in there and just push forward to get a good seal. Alright. Tug on it a little bit. Not too hard, but it's just enough. And it, it's it pretty much in there. It's stuck in there. Alright. Get your dash cam. Make sure you take off your protective covering here, which I did already. And the protective covering's gone on this one. So now we could just simply install the dash cam in there. And you should see a little, you could hear a little click. All right, it's in there. Now you can see how it's moving back and forth, which is fine because once we're done, when we start it, we could go ahead and just secure it to the right location. Now that we're done installing the dash cam, now let's install the power cord for the dash cam. And this is gonna be the front passenger installation. Now install the micro USB cable into the camera. Now we're gonna run the wire towards the driver's side to wrap the wire around the center bar of the rear view mirror. What that's going to do is it's gonna hold the wire so when we start installing it, it's gonna have a brace to it. And plus it makes the wire a little bit straight here. Now what you want to do is start running your wires to the headliner. Now between the headliner and the window, there's about a, an eighth of an inch. And other cars is a fourth of an inch. This is a fourth, so it's a little bit tighter. And all you do is just grab the wire with one hand, which I'm doing with my right hand and my left hand. I'm just going to push it up into the weather strip and it's going to have a, and it's going to stay right in there. Okay, so that's how you see it's gonna it's gonna stay. 
Now let's go ahead and do the other side. We just continue running the wires inside the headliner. We keep on going until we run into the A pillar, which is right here. Now here, it's going to be a tight area. So we could go ahead and start running into the A pillar. I'm just going to push it in right there. And what it's doing, all it's doing is it's just holding this. The reason we put the wire inside the A pillar is just to hold the wire because we're going to be moving it and it, that way it doesn't make the wire fall. Now you can simply with your fingers just push in the, uh, the wires into the end of the A pillar which I did here and push it more in there. Now you see the slack so all we're going to do is simply move it. We're going to push it with the, your other hand and kind of guide it at the same time. All right, it's already in there. It's in here. It's in the it, It's in the A pillar. If this area is tight when you're running the wires, if you have a gift card or credit card, you can use that to push the wire in with no problem. Now, when we get to the A pillar to run the wire down, we're going to go inside the weather strip all the way down to the kick plate. So let's get started with that. Now you could do two ways again. You could take the weather strip off and simply just pulling it down. Or if you have a vehicle that it slips right in between the weather strip and the A pillar with no problem, then do that. This is the way it looks like on the inside here. And all you're gonna do is put the wire inside the frame and the A pillar, push it in there, and then put the weather strip back. But with this vehicle, I don't have to do that. This is a Ford, so this one could just slide in there with no problem. And that's what exactly what I'm gonna do, is just keep it sliding in there, and then when I come back, I just gotta refix the A pillar, push it in, and it'll go underneath the weather strip. There I go. I'm just going to continue to push it in there. And then when you get to those treble spots, just pick up the weather strip a little bit like I did here. And then just push this back up and it covers it. And then we got the kick plate. And you can see where I already pushed the wire in the inside for the slack purposes. And what we're going to do is just go in between the frame which the, the dashboard and the kick plate, I'm just simply going to route it in between that slot. Picking up the dashboard a little with my hand. It is plastic, so it just moves up with no problem. And there it is. And, and you saw the way just easily tucked in there. Once we're at the kick plate, all we got to do is run the wire behind the carpet. Okay, once we're at the end of the carpet, since the outlet is pretty much right on this area here, I'm gonna go up into the center console area and push the wire in there. There's an opening back here. Okay, now we're at the end where we could just run the wire straight to the outlet. All right, the outlet is right here. I opened it up where you can see it there. Now the wire, I'm simply just gonna run it and push it in there. And it should start. Yep, there it goes, it's starting. After we installed it, the wire, now you can see we have some slack, okay? 
it's not a problem all we got to just pull it to the back so let's go ahead and do that and they're going to push it behind the carpet all the slack There it goes, there's all the slack. The front dash cam is installed. And you can see there's no exposed wires anywhere. All inside. All right, now to install the rear camera wire. And again, we're starting from the front, working our way to the back. So simply what you do is push the camera towards the window shield and it'll move about 30 degrees. And then you get your rear camera wire, push it in to make a connection. And just like the way we did the, uh, the front wire, we went the opposite way. We're gonna do the same thing to this camera. We're gonna run the wire to the right passenger side, making our way to the driver's side. The reason we're running the wire through the driver's side is per the recommendation of the manufacturer. So we're going to follow their pattern. Now that I have the wire at the A pillar, I'm just going to route the wire inside the weather strip to the B pillar. I have the wire to the B pillar. Just like we did the A pillar, I'm simply going to run the wire inside the B pillar. And again, if I need more uh, help, I could simply use a gift card or credit card to push the wire. Now we're simply going to repeat the process of running the wire inside the weather strip on the back seat window. Which again, we've done this before, we're just going to skip this part. And you're at this point and I ran the wire inside the car, okay? This is where you got to figure out what to do. Are you able to utilize the seat going down to run the wire inside? Or if not, you have to look at other videos that I have for different circumstances. If this video has been helpful for you, don't forget to give me that thumbs up because it really helps me. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and select all notifications for all upcoming videos. Now let's go ahead and continue. When you're at the C pillar, all you have to do is continue the process of putting the wire between the weather strip and the C pillar, which is just going to go straight down. Now with this break is where we're going to put the wire in between so it goes into the back seat. And again, pretty much everything in the upholstery is just clips. So I'm going to just grab it and push it towards the inside of the vehicle and it should pop out. Let me come on this side. Oh, there it goes. It pops it out. You see how those clips are? And that's where it all comes together and you put it back and forth. Now what I did is just, let me show you again real quick. I just put the wire drop it in this inside and what you want to do is put the wire underneath the clips you don't want it on top of the clip you want it underneath that way it makes a clean install all right I'm on the inside again you can see the clip the wire is underneath and I'm just simply going to push it back into place All right, it's installed. You see the wire here. You go to the outside and it's a clean break. Now for the inside, all we're gonna do is route the wire between the upholstery, or the carpet really, and the, and the side mounts of the car. Just pretty much behind the carpet is all we're doing. Again. Let's see, around the carpet and it goes to the inside. And again, you can see the clean break here. Let's see, let's put this carpet back. And there you go. You can't even see the wire at all. Go ahead and continue running the wire behind the carpet.
So this is the part where if we have slack, this is where we're gonna push the wire to push the wire here to run the slack inside this area. So this is what the area we're gonna use. There's a clip right here. So I'm gonna use this upholstery remover to take the clip out. And I'll put a link in the description for this product. And you can see how easy that was to remove that. We're gonna continue running the wire into the break here. Okay, we are now at the point where we started in the beginning of the video. So in order to get to this location here where we're gonna install the camera, and then we're gonna use a tail light for the red light, for the backup, I'm sorry, for the backup camera, we're gonna to need to take this off, okay? Well, I'm not gonna take it completely off. We're just gonna take the area that we need off, which is the top half but I'm still gonna remove all these clips. And the way you do that is, again, with this postery clip remover, just push it behind it and pull out. And you can see how that indention, that indention on the remover, it takes them all off, simply by that action. All right, I got this pretty much where I want it off. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to this part and go ahead and start installing the camera. There's two ways you can install the camera, using the screws or using the adhesive pad. And I'm gonna go ahead and use adhesive pads. I've done this before in the past and they always work. They never come off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm applying the mount, the putty to the mount. I'm taking off the protective covering and I'm simply just going to put it where I want, I feel it's necessary. I'm going to mount it in this empty space right here where it's out of the way of the backup camera. You never want to put it too close because when you try to back up, you use your backup camera, it gets in the way. All right, so I'm positioning in there. I think I got a good amount of space. You want the camera usually flushed against the, the trunk. All right, got it, pushing it in. Next, you want to use the license plate light. Let's remove it. There's a clip on one side, which is here. There's a clip right there. Okay. In order for me to get the wire inside the trunk, I had to drill a hole, which is right there. And all it does is simply just lets the wire go inside. So when I wrap the wire inside, it goes into the hole and it goes to the other side. And that's where the wire is going into. Once you have the wire inside the car, I made a break into the molding on the left side. I drilled here and then I just went to the right. And it breaks that. And what reason it does that is so you could put the wire in that indention so when you put your license plate light it's not sticking out or is or it's it goes in smoothly where it's not sticking out all right so i got the wire in there now next is to position let me switch hands real quick Let's position the license plate light back in there flushed and then move it and push it into the right side and you can see it's flushed just like the opposite way. The opposite side, I'm sorry. All right, and now with the camera, you could just pretty much adjust it to where you think you need it. And then once you're done, you could tighten up the screws on the side. All right, we're almost done here. All we gotta do is get the wire from here, from inside there, and connect it to where we left off here. So let's go ahead and start that. Oh, and don't forget the red wire. Okay, next we have to finish installing the wire that's coming out from the car to the rear dash cam. And the way we're gonna do that is, again, we're gonna use this rail coming up and then go to the backup light because we got to install the red wire there. And then we'll connect it on the inside to the backup camera, the rear camera. 
So what I'm going to do now is remove this tail light. This is a perfect time to go ahead and search YouTube, put in your car information, and put how to remove the backlight or the tail lights, and they'll give you step by step on how to do that. And once you do that, don't forget to give them that thumbs up for helping you with that. Okay, at this point, this is the light we're going to use, which is the reverse light. All you do is put your thumb and your other part, uh, finger on the opposite side and it tells you which light you're going to need. When you get to the back and you know which one you need, you're going to have two wires. One is a black wire and the other will be a different color wire. This one is a red. And you can see there's already a break when I install different uh, rear cameras. This is what I use to, to punch into or tap into really. Now the black is the ground, so the other color is going to be your power, where your power load comes into. And this is what you're going to be using is this red wire, not the black one because that's the ground. What I'm going to be using is something called a T-tap. And what this does is you put the wire inside the terminal here, and then you simply close it and it breaks the wire and it creates a seal around it and it creates a connection. Then you would use the other part which will connect this one to the red wire and then when that makes a connection you just put them both together like that. And that's how you get the connection in there. So the first step is to get your red wire or whichever wire you're using Put the terminals around it. As you can see right there. And simply close it. Now I say simply, but you're still going to have to use some type of pliers to put them together to make that seal. Let me just put this back into place. You squeeze them together. And you just snap those together in place, do a real firm hold on there. And then just test it, make sure it's not coming out. Everything looks good. So now it's time for the, it's time for the red wire. Alright, let's get a red wire. And we're going to go ahead and just splice it. We're going to get about at least a half an inch or less. And there you go. Once you get your wire, you just want to twist it around all the way to the edge. All right, once you got that, you're simply going to put the wire inside and you could actually see the wire coming out. Well, let me try to get you, you can see the wire coming in and out there. All right, but you want to make sure you got a good connection and then with your pliers, you're simply just going to squeeze. All right, once you have your red wire and you got your T-tap in there, all we're gonna do now is just put them in together, making sure that terminal goes inside this area right here, in the between those grooves. Got it in. Let's push it in more all the way in. Check the other side. Make sure the terminal is not on the outside. It's on the inside. So we are good. Once you got them connected, you want to make sure on both sides that the terminal is good. And it is. It is good. All right. We're just going to put our light back together. Secure it. At this time, you want to connect the wires together. And you want to continue running the wire first inside the trunk area here until you get to the last part of it, the end. 
and you want to do the same thing when we're coming in the car put it inside the trunk area the trunk spaces that it has okay once we found an area where they're inside all we have to do is just put them together and twist until they make a final connection and it's done at this time you want to grab your all the slack you're gonna have from the red put it together and then zip tie it to one of the wires inside that way it's not constantly moving I got the red wire zip tied and I'm just gonna cut the end Now that we have the wires installed, all we got to do is run the camera wire, zip tie it to this already black wires here, and then we're pretty much done with this part. All right, you can see where I did my zip ties here. These are all my zip ties. Even here, I got one here. And one right there. These are all the zip ties that I use to put to make sure the wire is confined with the other wire harness it has. All I got to do now is just cut these zip tie ends and push this back together. Okay, everything's put back together. And the wires are going in along with the side of the wire harness so everything looks good. And the carpet is back on the trunk so we are all completed here we are back at the dash cam I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the power source okay we know if power works because we installed the power cable we're gonna skip that message and you can see the rear camera is working on this side right here now that's great but now we need to see if our work from the uh, backup light is working so let's put the car in reverse and when it does that you should see some grid lines here we go we see the grid lines right there that means the backup camera is working so we have the rear camera on and we also have the backup camera working so far we've done good job here if this video was helpful for you, please give me that thumbs up because you know, I appreciate that from you and it really helps me out. If you're interested in any of these products or tools, I'll list the links in the description down below to purchase. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and select all notifications for all upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.